the mind kill degrades the condition of firearms, making them much more likely to malfunction. You can clear most malfunction by tapping the magazine to make sure it's seated, racking the slide to chamber a new round, and then bang, you're ready to go. Tap, rack, bang. U.S. Marine Colonel Jeff Cooper's first rule of gun safety is that guns are always loaded. Even if you just unloaded it seconds ago or seen someone else do it, treat it as if it's still loaded. You may know that it's empty, but you must practice your mind tech threading and believe both facts at once. Unless you are currently seeing and feeling that the chamber is empty, the weapon is in a state of quantum uncertainty, controlled by the threat. In that state, if you point it at a kill drone and fire, the threat will collapse that waveform into an empty chamber, leading to a click instead of a bang. If your kid finds the same gun and points it at another kid, the threat will collapse that waveform into a loaded chamber, leading to a bang instead of a click. Never, ever, let the threat make this kind of decision for you. While physical training is less important than mental conditioning, receivers know that the two are linked. To move the body requires thought and focus, and similarly, certain actions and physical situations induce specific states of mind. By training one, you train the other. The world of the mind stretches far to the horizon. In this space, it's tempting to dwell in the past or explore possible futures. Attention flits from one distant idea to the next, visiting 100 unlikely scenarios, spreading thinner. This is the unfocused mind. In contrast, Sharp focus is always concentrated on the present moment, 
What action do you have to take right now? Each new moment necessitating the next thought and action in a correct sequence. It's common knowledge that you get better results the harder you try, but like most common knowledge, this is wrong. Receivers know that there is an optimal level of effort. Too low and you might slack off. Too high and you can start to choke under pressure. In the middle, you get the best results. 